can hear noises. What's that coming around the corner in time? Wow, look at this! Big boys toys! Hey! This looks handy. This is how we get the balcony off of the balcony. The right or anyway. Look at this time! That's rising. Oh! Mind that hammer on the floor there. Well done, Will. That's amazing. How's that? Is that all right? That's yeah. Brilliant. brilliant. I'll just lift that front again, Jane, Something went, oh, don't bump the days me Thank while you. I'm standing on the edge, please. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> wow, that's perfect, isn't it? Wow, look at it. Oh, no wonder you can get it out. Look at that. Oh, dear. Only in the wall six inches, look. <laughs> that's probably how thick that creppy stuff is. <laughs> they built it to last, didn't they? They did, didn't they? Not many. Right. <laughs> oh, and it's just started raining again. Oh, fiddle. Amazing. Ah, ah be yeah. careful. Don't fall That's over the hammer. Side, Trip hazard. Now. Wow. Wow. Like a mini skip. <laughs> High up. <laughs> you see why I wanted the tractor now? Absolutely. How easy is yeah. that? Oh man. Apparently, Tone, they do have skips in France. They're called Benet. Benet? Yeah, so oh, yeah. we'll have to remember that because we've never seen one, have we? Yeah. But oh, someone right. messaged me and told me that they, yes, they do have skips in France, so I stand corrected. But we'll have to remember that when we need one. We know a nice scrap metal man, although he never turned up, did he? <laughs> On Friday. Alright. Yeah. Yeah, come on. Retire indoors again until the rain stops. That's some beastie parked outside the front door, isn't it? Rain has stopped to play for the moment. Wow, what is it? It's a New Holland. Wow, ah, brilliant. T6 1255 five. Maybe. But yeah, that's a nice piece of kit, isn't it? Up, so I'm sorry if it's affecting the sound. 
but they've almost finished dismantling the old balcony and then we'll be putting up a new one in the morning see them very clearly because they're behind the bucket of the tractor Let's finish it off. Hey. Well done, Will. Over engineering, yeah. That's the last piece, I think. Well, that's the old one gone. this side because they're mucking the horses out so I've come to see what's happening. Hey, that's all they're busy. Ah, and they run me over. Oh look at David. Hi Dave. <laughs> David's going for a little ride. <laughs> This is enormous, this one. I don't think I've ever showed you inside this one yet. Oh. Huge in here. All these stables. Very really light though. Aha! Wonder what I could hear rustling. <laughs> it's nice and light in here, isn't it? Yeah. Those skylights are amazing. I know it's not original, but you need it really, don't you? Yeah. So. <laughs> Good morning. Hello, beautiful. What we got? What are we eating? Breakfast. <laughs> yeah, far more interesting things than me. Hello. <laughs> Is this the one you said you were worried about Straws opening up the straw? Oh. Yeah, not touching that. 
This Deborah's no. found snakes before in the hay. She was telling me last night. I don't fancy that idea myself. No. So you have to be a little bit careful. And these are only little things, but they're quite poisonous. Do you know what they're called? I don't actually. The people keep asking me if there's any snakes, and I don't really know apart from the adders. You just know they're like but, yeah. asp type things. Asp. Yeah, so it's like an adder then. They're the same family, I think. Right. So when will they be able to go out again, Deb? Horses? Yeah. Uh, it's too, too muddy, isn't it, at the moment? Yeah, and too it is cold. A bit. Once there's some goodness in the grass, yeah. um, they can go back out. Okay. Until then. People do ask me why they're stuck in the stable. Because <laughs> like, it's too muddy and it's very cold. Yeah, the bus turns 20 this year. Oh, really? So that's quite elderly for a horse then? Yes. Right, so you got yeah, it's got to have a bit of extra care. Yeah. Not only that, I mean, I think I'd prefer to be in a nice, warm, dry yeah, stable. Exactly. Yeah. Nice they get exercise as well, don't they? In the menage, yeah. we've got a, un, a covered in menage here as well. So, hey, Dave's back. Hello, David. <laughs> I love it. He dines along with him. <laughs> right away. <laughs> Dave's in the driving seat as usual. <laughs> oh, wait, Dave's still sitting there. He's not getting another ride now. <laughs> Have you come to say hello? <laughs> I can't reach you properly in there. Hey. He's sneaking around this way, look. You sneaky. <laughs> What's he up to? Where are you going? You're hiding. You're hiding. Come on. Oh, he's come to get you. Look, he's waiting until you put the thing down. <laughs> Are you going? Go on, then. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> you don't mind the noise of that, then. <laughs> oh. It's like doing a giant rabbit hatch, isn't it? Yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> no, Dave. Dave, come here. Come on. He's going to get trodden on. Then you'll learn. David. <laughs> wow. Them heavy feet. <laughs> he's almost if he's stamping them on purpose. Dave, is he? Hey. He's tall, isn't he? He's got long legs. Yeah. He's like gangly. Yeah. Yeah, how old is he now? Uh, he'll be two. All right. Uh, ah, so yeah, he's just a baby still. Yeah. Wow, right, well done. So you've got hot water, so it's like a horsey shower? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, like <laughs> horsey wet room. <laughs> Yeah. Shower, a normal bathroom shower. Yeah. So it heats the water up as you. Shower. Excellent. Well, yeah, they don't want them to be washed with cold water, do they? Right. Exactly. Not unless it's the middle of the summer. Steam in it. Oh, I bet. <laughs> yeah, well, I bet they love that. I'm going to pull that down. Now, the owners of the chateau have found out a little bit about the history of the building from the Mary, but the description we're now trying to find it says that the oldest part of the building has got a, what do they call that door? A pedimented door. door. Then we found this doorway on the back of the Jeep building. We think this must be the oldest part of the building that they're referring to, which was called the, called the Boise House, which was the name of the family. 
and we are looking at this doorway here which leads down to this semi cellar in here which we think they would have used for food storage and wine storage but we're closely looking at the doorway now this could have had a pedimented piece above it but it's had alterations in the 1700s and that looks a lot newer up there so we're not sure right we're going to go in the room next to this which has been used for cooking we believe it's got a huge fireplace in here which again to me looks much much older in style I'm looking at the stonework on the top of that that's amazing now the description in it's a very short description but it tells us that originally there would have been a moated moated fortress castle on this site in around 1344 yeah yeah 1344 and then there's been three castles on this site of which this one is the latest one but that the original part of the original fortress castle is still here and we believe this is the part that we're looking at now this looks like a much grander version of our cooking fireplace back at our relay that we discussed that's amazing that fireplace so this is a huge huge room the description of the the description of the house said that it had a hinged window and the doorway wasn't it the pedimented door and that it had two dormers well this has got two dormers on the back and two on the front but the ones on the back look like later additions so we're thinking that this is the oldest part of the building that's had work done in the 1700s and we're looking at the the wear on the step there but this stonework around the doorways would have been we think replaced in the 1700s where they've upgraded the building and if we look at the dormers on the top of it they've had a serious upgrade they're beautiful but that to me looks very sort of Georgian in style late 1700s so we think that's been upgraded when they've built the main house so I'm gonna go around the front now and film that bit around yeah. the front yeah. because there's another pedimented door on the other side and it also referred to bossed bossed seats which we think are like bossed surrounds on the main entrance way which could possibly be on the front of here my feet. This is the only sort of single story building on the site, isn't it? Yeah. Oh mind you saying that. The other the other stable one, although we believe that was a stable block over there, that's sort of single story as well, isn't it? Now look at the thickness of these walls in here. That is absolutely massive. Yeah, that is huge, that wall, with that fireplace in it. Again, this one, I'm, I'm not very good at dating things, but that looks pretty old to me. Do you not think? I do. I think this must have been part of the original house. Yeah. I think we've been in the cooking part and the food storage part. I'm going to go out the front here now. No, and it's not this doorway that we're going through, it's actually the window that we think again has been converted. I have filmed it before, but we weren't looking so closely at the style of the building at the time. I believe that this could have been the entrance that they're referring to. Because it does actually have that pedimented, what they would have called a doorway. And we think this is what they mean by bossed. We think this stonework could be what they refer to as bossed so the actual 
The actual windowsill on here looks fairly new to me. And obviously without pulling all the ivy off the wall, I can't see if the stonework goes to the floor. But I would suspect that it maybe does. And then what we think they're possibly referring to as the window, the hinged window, we think could be this part of the building. Because again, it's got this beautiful stonework, which has definitely got some great age to it. And I have filmed this before, but it's also got this, what would have been their drainage system. So we think we might have discovered a little bit of the history that this would have been the original part. And then the, it would have been done up in the late 1700s. And this doorway, I would imagine, would have been done then. Because the stonework looks new. Wow. Now, we have two dormers on this side as well. So again, there are two dormers on this side of the building. Which again could have been changed at some point. They definitely look newer. And the window over there, you can see above the window, that's a new addition. Because it's like a cemented in um, lintel above the window there, just through the bushes. So it's definitely been changed about a bit over the years, but I think this must have been the original house on this site. I've never actually been in here. So it's like, like one of these semi-sunken... You've not actually been in here? No. Ooh. Oh! Yeah, it's just like a typical cave. It looks like something's been blocked up there. Is that to the outside wall? That then goes... Yeah, I think that's where the entrance way is with the other doors, isn't it? And there's an arrow... That's definitely an arrow slot. What is... Well, it? look. I can't see now. Yeah, for sure. That's definitely an arrow yeah. slot. Yeah, it's not an air hole. No. David, let me in. Oh. Out the way, now, this goes out to the main mode, so that would be the obvious point, wouldn't it? Yeah. From a defence point of view, that's definitely an arrow slot. Wow. And then the usual archway construction. It's flooring, isn't it? Yeah. So you had to get up down there. Oh. Got some sort of tiles on the floor down there. Yeah. But yeah, this is going to be food storage or something, yeah. isn't it? But again, it's got the old stone steps and things and. That's been built up over the years for some reason. It's yeah. got even someone's written their initials in there. Right, oh. That was just a stone. I thought we could see something. Okay. All right. I'm going to go over it. We think this area might have been part of the original old fort. And there are walls around the, some parts of this pond. Um, why would it be that shape even? We need to map this out when we can see. See, Deb, it's got a curve on that bit over there. You've got yeah, a curvy yeah. bit here. Right. We need to try and get an idea of the shape. Yes. If you can see that if it even resembles some type of building. Yeah. Why curved? Yeah. Unless it's a tower. Have you still got the, the pointy thing? Yeah. Alright, might be worth a go. That's it. You found it. Come, Deb, find the treasure. It's quite That's why it's giving me a good signal. What is it then? Oh, looks like a big rock though. Don't tell me it's embedded in some rock. It was on this side, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh. 
You won't get it out. Is that on? No. It's on <laughs> Turn it on, my help. <laughs> You're on top of it. You want, when it goes fast like that, no, that's your fork. I know, but I had a <laughs> oh, I see, right. bug Sorry. thing on it. It's there somewhere. Yeah. Oh, maybe it's a pipe. <laughs> Probably a pipe that feeds the bomb. It's definitely not an old rusty old iron sound though. It's <laughs> exciting. What are we gonna find? Sounds like rock though, doesn't it? It does. And the roots. Alright, try it again in case you've dug it. Oh no, it's still in there. Oh blimey. It's a good old signal. Yeah. I can feel something. Ah! It's a bit of metal. Yes, I can see a piece of metal. Mind your fingers though, in case it's sharp. So you want to dig around it. Now that's it's a rock she's got this. there. Yeah, it's yeah, but be there's... under it though. Yeah, but look, Debs. Oh, go on. You, you had a piece of what yeah, looked yeah. like a piece of metal that looked sharp. There. I think it's another bit of that coppery stuff. Me too. It's big. Wow. Yeah, it's just, it's a big it's lump pipe, of copper isn't it? pipe. Yeah, it's not a piece of rusty metal though, is it? It's right. a piece of copper. Keep finding bits of copper, don't we? We do. That's definitely check your hole. Yeah. That's definitely it. There's nothing else in there. Yeah. The old detector's doing a good job though, because that could have been copper coins. Hey, or bronze even. Yeah. But yeah, a big old lump of big old lump of copper pipe. Flattened copper pipe. I knew it gave me a good signal. Why would there be copper Are pipe we... over here? Someone's dumping things, maybe. Yeah, it makes you wonder. Probably some fly tippers. It might have been fly tippers from 100 years ago. We don't know, do we? No. That signal's gone. That's really strange. That is weird, isn't it? Okay, maybe. Oh, hang on. That's it. It's, why is it over here? I know, it's weird. You've flicked it, I reckon. Hang on. Let me... No. We have just found what we think is a live shell because it looks as if it's not hollow. It might be full up with mud, but we're not taking any chances. So we're going to yeah. chuck it over there in the middle of the pond. Hey. Oh, it's a bit easier to dig, it's not stone. Go, Dib! <laughs> right. Hey. Alright.
I need to go and find some more exciting things. <laughs> yeah. Come look at the layout where we're digging on what we think is the Roman road. Is it safe to stand yeah. on, tread on the bottom ones? They're not moving, are they? Cause no. I don't want to tread on the same one as you at the same time. I'm frightened to even touch anything. Let's put my gloves on. Ooh. Hang on. Get my gloves on. All right. Is there any windows or anything up here? No. So it's not completely black. No. They're very wonky, these stairs.